All right, we're back for the last topic on probability, the rules of probability. We have discussed in the last lecture the different counting techniques uh, to identify the events, particularly for large uh, sample spaces and more importantly for events with uh, many outcomes. Let's start with uh, rule number one of uh, the rules of probability, which are very, actually very intuitive, and the complicated problems are very much solvable as long as these rules are uh, applied systematically. Let us begin with uh, the condition one of uh, rule one, or the probability distribution rule, where condition one states that for any event A, the probability of uh, A, uh, A to occur is uh, greater than or equal to zero, but is less than or equal to one. This means that there are no negative probabilities and no probabilities greater than one. Let us go through an example to see how this goes, we have a group of 200 students randomly selected uh, from the whole population of a university. The 200 students were classified according to sex and their preference of uh, learning arrangement for the first semester of academic year 2020-2021, where uh, limited contact is necessary due to the pandemic. Uh, students selected a learning ar arrangement either uh, online, blended, or module. Uh, likewise, they were classified as male or female. Uh, the distribution according to these categories are shown in table one. For example, males who prefer uh, an online learning arrangement number um, 29, while the total number of females, regardless of their choice, uh, numbered 106. Let us answer a question uh, in, relate, in relation to that, given the distribution okay, of, the, of the table. What is the probability that a student is male and prefers online learning? The solution would be counting or identifying the number of elements of males who prefer online learning, that is uh, 29, and Divide that by the value or the, of the total number of elements in the sample space, which is 200, and that would give us 0 0.15, the decimal 0 0.15. And this is congruent with the condition one of rule number one, where uh, 0 0.15 is greater than zero, but is uh, less than one. The probability will always be less than one because the probability is always a fraction of the total number of uh, events in the sample space. Uh, next condition of rule one is the sum of the probabilities of all possible outcomes is always one. This is because similar to uh, percentages, uh, the total is 100% or one. Thus, if solving probabilities, you encounter a uh, value or a result that is more than one, that would be an invalid answer. So let us try to illustrate the, uh, this with the given something example again. And we have the we have here okay, uh, the okay, the sum of all the prob fast probabilities. Okay, let us try it. We have here the probabilities of all uh, the different combinations between the parameters of sex and a learning arrangement, thus those that are male and preferring online arrangement, okay, it has a, its own probability, male and preferring blended learning, male and preferring uh, module, male, female and online, uh, female and blended, and then female and module. The result would be all elements in the sample space, that would be 29 plus 37 plus 28 plus 31 plus 37, plus 38. 
and sin t totaling 200 and dividing by 200 gives a probability of 1. The last condition or of rule 1 states that the outcomes listed must be disjoint. This only means that they uh, never occur at the same time or are mutually exclusive events. Take the case of males who prefer uh, blended learning and females who are also prefer uh, blended learning. Those are disjoint because no element who are female, no matter their choice of blended learning, can be a male preferring blended learning. Okay. Again, disjoint outcomes or sets are mutually exclusive events. The rule two of probability is the complement rule, which states that the probability of the complement of an event is uh, given by uh, one minus the probability of the, uh, the event. Let's go back to our example. What is the probability now that the student selected is not male and does not prefer online learning? Take note of the not male and not preferring online learning conditions. And thus we have one minus the probability of those that are male and learn uh, preferring the online mode of learning. That is what we have already completed a while ago. That is uh, 50, 0.15. Thus, uh, 1 minus 0 0.15, that will give us 0 0.85. To check, we can simply subtract 29 or the male students who prefer online learning from the total uh, elements of the sample space, that is 200 minus 29. That should give us 171 over uh, 200 or 0 0.85. Rule number three is the general addition rule. And this is, well, for, you recall your uh, set theory, this is for uh, union of events. We have two conditions for this, for any two events, S or uh, mutually exclusive events or events without a uh, intersection. The difference in formula is the subtraction of the intersection of the two events for those intertwined events. For those kinds of, of events, the union of two intertwined events have the addition of the probabilities of events one, events one, and events two, event one and event two, minus the intersection of the uh, events. Mutually exclusive events do not have a subtraction of these intersecting events. And it's because they are, uh, there are no common elements between them. Example, what is the probability that a student selected is a female or prefer the module type of learning arrangement? Take note of the or. We have the first condition, thus the formula, uh, the probability of all females plus the probability of all uh, preferring module uh, learning arrangement minus the uh, intersection of the female and the uh, module learning or or those who are females preferring module uh, uh, the, the module learning arrangement uh, that would be 106 okay plus 66 uh, uh, um, this, this would be minus okay minus 38 that would be how much? 134 over 200 or 0 0.67. The fourth rule is multiplication rule where two conditions are again considered uh, for dependent events and independent events. Uh, for the first condition, it would be the probability of E1 given E2 multiplied by the probability of E2. Uh, for independent events, we have merely the probabilities of E1 and E2 multiplied together. Let us see this through an example. Is the choice of learning arrangement of the student independent of the uh, sex of the student? 
we have here the different probabilities of female students preferring the module uh, learning. Uh, sorry, this is, uh, this should be intersection, okay? Preferring the module learning, the probability of the females and uh, the probability of module learners, okay? Females and then module learners. Using the second formula, test for independence, we have the left side equals uh, 0 0.19 from 38 over uh, 200. And the right, we have uh, 106 over 200 multiplied by 66 over 200. That gives us different left and right values of 0 0.19 and 0 0.17, which indicate that uh, the sex is not independent of the learning arrangement. In other words, uh, the sex of a person will affect his or her choice of learning arrangement. So, uh, well, uh, that, that is the general uh, conclusion from this uh, test of independence. In the next set of lectures, uh, we will now proceed with the probability distributions. We'll see you by then.